What's up guys, Joshua Navigate the Wild, and today we are going to take our leftover shoulders from this last season and we are gonna turn it all in to breakfast sausage. That's right, breakfast sausage. So I've got five shoulders from pigs that we've killed. I think I have one venison shoulder. It doesn't matter. We're gonna get it all off the bone. We're gonna trim it up. We're gonna cube it up, freeze it up, and then grind it up for breakfast sausage. Let's go. All right, guys, we have our shoulder meat all cut up. I've also added five pounds of pork fat to the mix. I got my Lem's breakfast sausage here. Uh, this will do about 25 pounds of meat. This is about 22 pounds of meat, but I like it a little stronger. So what they want you to do is use an ounce per tablespoon per pound of meat of, for water with the lem. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna dissolve it in about 23 ounces of water. I'm gonna stir it up. Then we're gonna transfer this to a larger bin, start mixing in the seasonings, mix it with our hands, and then we'll get our grinder set up and ready to grind this meat up. Now I have oiled everything from the blades to the auger, um, to the plates, everything's been oiled and it's cold. The meat is also cold. So I like to do a coarse grind first and then I'll do my fine grind. So we're gonna start loading up the hopper and feeding everything in to get our sausage broke down. All right, now we've got everything re-oiled up our smaller plate, our fine grind is on, and you can see how beautiful this is coming together. It starts out looking coarse grind over here, and then it turns out to these beautiful fatty ribbons. Um, this is going to make great wild hog sausage patties. Just amazing. And as the process continues, it looks prettier and prettier. We got about 23 pounds of breakfast sausage we'll share with family and friends. Meg's doing the last bit where we wrap it in butcher paper. The reason we do that is because this will get compromised from being frozen over time. And so you'll go to defrost something like this, it'll be leaking blood all over the place. So we take the extra step, wrap it in butcher paper. All right, we're over here prepping for dinner. Got our sausage patties laid out. Normally what I do is I'll take my sausage and cut it in half so you got half pound each slab and then I'll quarter those up into four cuts. We're gonna use our cast iron that's heating up over here. You can see the little, you can turn it down because that cast iron is gonna hold heat. And when we put this in, really what we're trying to do is we're gonna put our patty in there. I like to smash them, get them thin. They cook a little faster, but they also give you a really nice crust with that added fat from the pork that we added. And so, um, yeah, let's get some in the pan. All right, we got our patty flattened and we're just gonna let it cook. I'm not gonna rush this process. We're like a medium low heat. Cast iron has already come up to temp and we're just gonna get a nice crust on this, flip it over, do the same thing. And we're gonna repeat that a few times to cook these bad boys down and we're gonna have some great sausage and eggs for dinner. And that's the type of crust you wanna see. The other crazy thing about making yourself homemade breakfast sausage is there's no grease in this pan. The grease is used, it's, it's got a purpose, and wild game is just so lean, even our pigs. So we add a little bit of fat for flavor, but you're not leaving a bunch of added preservatives or anything like that to float around in the pan. Like literally everything that you give it is used up and then you eat it. It's just so nutritionally dense. I want to put you on the spot, but... It's really good. Yeah, that's the best sausage I've ever had. That's what she said, Michael Scott. Mm -hmm. 